Once you've got a rig set up to make it, smoking your own cheese is as simple as it gets, and it's way better than that stuff you get in the gift box from the farm. I mean, what kind of cheese doesn't even need to be refrigerated? So today I'm making this great smoked cheese that everyone's gonna love. So let's get started. Cheese is so easy to smoke because there's just one ingredient, and surprise, it's cheese. However, it does require some planning ahead, and you need the right setup because it's cold smoked. And by cold smoked, I'm talking about temperatures below 60 degrees Fahrenheit at the most, and preferably below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And I don't know of any smoker that can hit temperatures that low without some help. So the first thing to consider is the weather. And for me, that makes this sort of a late autumn through early spring situation. And it's usually gotta be early, early in the morning. But today we're not expected to get over 40 degrees, even though it is beautiful and sunny out here. So I am good to go all day. And now I've got this little external smoke generator that I can set up outside of my smoker and I can pipe that right down into the damper. And I can even hook up a hose to it and run it further if the smoker isn't staying cool enough. But this thing is kind of finicky. It works well for cheese though because the cheese doesn't take too long to smoke and it usually doesn't have time to get fussy. So when I first started using it, I'd cycle on and off constantly and I was convinced it was just a hunk of junk, but I opened it up, found out one of the terminals wasn't crimped very well, and so I replaced that and that fixed the problem. But anyway, not a lot of us has one of these, but there are other ways to get that smoke cooled off. Before I got the little smoke unit, this is how I did it. I'd take the box from my electric smoker, you pop it up on top of the electric smoker, you need to run some dowels or something under it to keep it up there. Then you put the rack inside of there, cut some vents out of the top, and that would pick up the smoke from down below and it'd have some time to cool off, but it wasn't always really cool, so I definitely only ran that in very cold weather. I've also seen some rigs with a dryer hose or some other kind of tubing hooked up to the stack of the smoker and then run off in some direction and stuffed up under a cardboard box or a trash can or something. And of course, some people like to put the smoker racks over the top of a big tray of ice inside of the smoker and that can help things out. So there are a lot of ways to get this done and I'm sure some of you have some clever ways to do it. And if you do, drop them down in the comments and maybe you'll help out some hapless smoker out there. Now let's talk about cheese and I'm pretty sure this will work with just about any cheese. I've got some here that I already know that I like. I've got some sharp cheddar some Swiss, and this is some pepper jack. But today I'm gonna throw in a chunk of blue cheese just because I've never done it and it sounds kinda good to me. And how about this bar of dark chocolate? And I'm not holding out a lot of hope for that, but I am curious. Now if you wanna get the fun little grid pattern on your cheese, you're gonna wanna place it at an angle on a rack like this with a kinda grid pattern and then sandwich that with another rack on top. And you wanna make sure you're getting good contact over all of the surface of the cheese. So I'll probably have to put a little bit of weight down on top of here to make sure it touches all over. And those lines are never gonna be as kind of visible as that store-bought stuff, but I feel like some of those guys are probably airbrushing that stuff on there anyway. My cheese has never come out all super golden brown like that stuff, but this cheese is gonna be better because I'm starting with real cheese, and a lot of times that stuff is that kind of pasteurized and processed cheesy kind of substance, which is all right but this is gonna be much better. 
And that's it as far as prep goes. Now let's get this out and into the smoker. cold smoke these for as long as you like but it's gonna take you some trial and error to find that sweet spot for these little half pounders I like to go between two and three hours but again you're just gonna have to try it to find out where you like it Well, this thing has really been kicking out the smoke today, so I think two and a half hours is gonna be just fine for this batch of cheese. Everything in here still nice and cold. I did, however, grab onto the threads of that little smoke generator down there and got just about the coolest looking burn ever. I don't know, this one or that one from Raiders of the Lost Ark, it's a toss up. So now I'm just gonna let this Soak up the last bits of that smoke and we'll take it inside. All right. Ooh. Well, that smells incredibly smoky. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we don't have very pronounced grill marks. Let's see the other side. Ah, a little more consistent there, but. Like I said, they're not gonna be super, super bright like those ones that you get in the store, but they do look pretty cool. And believe me, this stuff is very smoky. Now, here is where planning ahead comes in. You could dive into this right now, but you're likely gonna find that it's way too smoky and really harsh tasting. That smoke needs some time to penetrate and infuse the cheese with flavor so you're gonna wanna wait at least two weeks. Yes, it is a long wait, but that's really gonna help to mellow out the smoke flavor. So I like to vacuum seal mine, but wrapping them up tightly with some plastic wrap and then putting that into a Ziploc, that's gonna work out just fine. So I'm gonna bag these up and put them in the refrigerator and I'll try them out in a couple of weeks. One eternity later. Oh, it's a nice smoky hit right out of the bag. Ooh, take a look at that. And now after a very long wait, it's finally time to see how we did. Excuse me while I cut this cheese. Check out that bite. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is nice. I just love the pepper jack. It's nice and smoky, but it doesn't squash the flavor of the cheese. I used apple wood on these because I really like the flavor of fruit tree woods with cheese. It's a little bit lighter than hickory, which can have a really potent punch, so. If you're using hickory or mesquite, you're probably going to want to cut that smoking time down just a bit. Now how about this blue cheese? I'm really excited to try this one. Now, I didn't flip this over while I was smoking it because I wanted to 
see if I can show the difference between what it looks like when it's smoked and before. And you can see there's quite a bit of difference in the contrast there. And when I make this in the future, I probably will flip this over halfway through so it smokes nice and evenly. But let's just give that a try. is a flavor bomb. <laughs> Blue cheese is a divisive cheese. A lot of folks just despise it. But I love a strong and funky blue. And that smoke really works well with it and adds a layer of complexity to the flavor. Mmm, it is still nice and creamy. I love that. I can't wait to drop a slab of that on a hot steak. If you've never had a melty glob of blue cheese on a steak, you really have to give that a try. Well, both of these are great, and I'm sure the others are going to be spectacular as well. These will keep in the refrigerator for several weeks, and they freeze really well, so you can have some during the warmer months. This is a great addition to your charcuterie plate, and it'll absolutely light up all things cheesy, from grilled cheese to enchiladas. So, gather up some of your favorite cheeses, and give this one a try, and I know you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching. Now, you know I wouldn't leave you hanging on this chocolate. Oh, smells a little smoky. Check out that bite. Eh, it's got potential. Oh, ah, that smoke's coming on a little bit later really not that bad I do believe I'm gonna try this with one of those chocolate bars that has the chili flake in it that'd be like a nice mole flavored chocolate bar <laughs>